So now in the last video, we made uh, this circuit here where we're using a switch with a capacitor charge pump there to pump more charge into that capacitor and give it a higher voltage. We're only working with five volts. We need six volts to light the two uh, green LEDs to uh, really light them. And so we're pumping more uh, charge and voltage into that capacitor. In this video, we're gonna uh, swap out the mechanical switch for a PNP bipolar junction transistor. And to switch that PNP bipolar junction transistor, we're gonna use the 555 timer. So right now I have 470 microfarad, not the 47 microfarad. So it's flashing about one tenth of the speed that it uh, will later on. Later on, we'll get it flashing 10 times faster and we're gonna get it going about 20 times faster too. We're gonna look at that. So in any case, PNP bipolar junction transistor, I'm using the 2N3906. I meant to write that there, but it doesn't matter which one you use really. So the uh, 2N3906 flat side is to the left right there. Probably can't see it, but it's to the left. So top pin is the emitter. That's where the arrow is. Middle pin is the base. That's where the 10 kilo ohm resistor is. And uh, the uh, collector down here right now, it's floating. We're gonna use a jumper to uh, bring it up there. So the 10,000 ohm resistor there coming to the blue LED. So the uh, 555 timer does not the uh, NE555. There are CMOS versions that can get to five volts, but uh, most 555 timers can't. So we're gonna just basically say they all can't for the most part. But in case it can't output five volts, it falls short, maybe three and a half, about a volt and a half short of the power supply. That is a voltage difference, five, three and a half. So current will flow and the uh, transistor will never turn off. Along the uh, base though, now we have the blue LED. So it's dropping about uh, three volts from, from that, two and a half at least. And uh, so it's uh, blocking that voltage difference. So the voltage can get low enough now to fully turn off the uh, PMP bipolar junction transistor. That's why we got it in series with the base. Red LED, we just added to uh, light up so that we can see when the output's high. The red LED is lit up. So for the timing, I got a 10,000 ohm resistor. I've done other a stable mode 555 timer circuits. And uh, so we're not gonna zoom in and get a close up look, but 10,000 ohm resistor to pin seven and then 1,000 ohm resistor from uh, seven to six and two and the capacitor. So it's charging, the output is high through 11,000 ohms of resistance to two thirds of the supply voltage. Then the output goes low, connects ground as does pin seven. So the capacitor will discharge through 1,000 ohms. So one eleventh of the total resistance that it did while charging. Whatever goes through that resistor also goes to ground. So it doesn't affect the discharging until it drops to one third supply voltage. That's why it is alternating there. So for our demonstration purposes, we are going to go to the collector of the PMP bipolar junction transistor there, 2N3906, and come up to the switch. Because remember, the bottom is always connected on the switch. So it's like a little jumper. But there you can see, each time the output goes low, we get a pulse of uh, more voltage. So right now the capacitor is charging and then we get that low output there that turns the uh, switch on, like pressing the uh, PMP bipolar junction transistor wire to the switch, just like if I hit the button over there and uh, makes a direct connection. And uh, that gets the voltage difference across the charge capacitor. And so the two voltages add up and pump more charge into that capacitor so that its voltage rises higher. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, as I said before, that's the 470 microfarad capacitor. This is a 47 microfarad capacitor. It's going about 10 times as fast or so. So you can still see uh, the pulses, even on a camera. In person, you can see it a little more. We'll grab a 22 microfarad uh, capacitor. So that's probably what I should have used there. I thought 47 would be okay. And there again, we still have uh, some pulses and whatnot, but uh, that's a whole lot better. So that's basically the circuit we got there. The uh, switch is just being used as a jumper right now. We could yank it out and take that little jumper and put it in its place down there. We'd get the same uh, results right there. So now let's wrap this up by looking at uh, some voltages. This is auto ranging. All I have to do is set it to voltage. I don't have to move the red probe for anything but high current. 
So this is a pretty nice meter, but they don't sell it anymore. That's why I don't uh, promote it at all. But uh, in any case, I mean, you can find it used or whatnot, but uh, generally speaking, you cannot find these uh, brand new. So there we go. We got about uh, 7.3 volts, it looks like. Let's look at what uh, we can expect if we don't have a load demanding current and it looks like we can get to about 8.7. So we're using a 5 volt power supply. This is technically a voltage doubler, but we have a couple of diode drops. So we're losing a couple of diode drops, which added up together. It's going to be about 1.4 volts at, uh, at higher current. So we got lower currents here. So it's not dropping quite as much as it uh, probably will. So we got uh, that. Let's uh, put the resistor back right there and so we're not going to get a good measurement of the voltage over here because uh, we got just going uh, too fast so what I'm going to do is I uh, yank the 22 microfarad uh, capacitor and put back in the 470 microfarad capacitor in its place to uh, slow slow that down so we can go anywhere there's a negative or ground there and uh, so there you can see we had zero volts and it got uh, close to uh, five volts probably would get uh, to five volts but uh, the pulses are, are a little too rapid right there so there you can see it's uh, connected to ground until we give it a positive pulse from the uh, transistor so I would use my oscilloscope uh, normally my pocket oscilloscope but it's not working anymore for some reason unfortunately I'll have to buy another one but uh, in any case that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.